Sherry here, Hot Mesh Mom. How are you? Thank you for purchasing the Welcome or the Hello Wreath Rail Beginner Edition Kit. So the thought behind this is we have some new people who have never seen a wreath rail before and they're not sure how to get started. So we wanted to really break that ice and make a beginner kit to where you fall in love with this craft and then you can there purchase your own mesh, your ribbon and your own wreath rails and start making your own designs. So this one here is painted red. We have many different color options. Uh, as you know, if you purchase the kit, you chose a color. This, you may have the welcome or the hello. I'm only gonna be doing the welcome. The concept is the same. So if you're watching this and you have the hello, the techniques that I'm gonna show you and how to put this together are going to be the same. So the only thing that you need is a pair of scissors and let's get started. So this is the wreath rail. You're gonna have a design. This one just has a painted welcome on it. And this part is the rail. I'm gonna be working on this top one here. Some of our designs are flipped and the rail is at the top of the design. Um, I really like to work on this one here and we wanted to keep this simple. This is uh, one technique that I teach all the time. So let's jump into what's in your kit. Your wreath rail. You should have a bundle of mesh and you have a bundle here. You have a jute string. We're gonna use that at the end for tying our string on. You're going to have some pipe cleaners. These is what we call ties. Everything should be color coordinated. Depending on what color you chose, that's what color we're painting the base. And then I put together the ribbon and the mesh and all the uh, pieces here that would coordinate. So you're gonna have four pieces of tubing. And I chose this one here because it's kind of wonky and I wanna show you how to straighten that out a bit. So four pieces of tubing. And then do not cut your ribbon. We've cut it for you already. You're going to have three pieces that are folded over like this. This is for making our hand bow. And we cut it already. You're gonna dovetail. I'm gonna show you how to dovetail the ends, but I'm gonna show you how to put this together. And then you're gonna get two more bundles of ribbon and these are gonna be for the ties. They're already cut for you, so you don't have to measure them. The only thing you're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to dovetail the ends, okay? That's why we're saying you only need a pair of scissors, even the mesh is already cut for you. So let's get our table situated here. I'm going to put the bow to the side. So this is for our bow, it's gonna go over here. To, oops, tubing is gonna go to the side because that's a little bit later. Jute string's gonna go to the side. Even these are gonna go to the side. So you're gonna have seven pipe cleaners. We're gonna use five along here and two are gonna be for our bow. First, you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and I like to fold mine in half. Kind of line it up to where the ends are kind of even, so it's like a V. You're going to raise up your wreath rail, take your pipe cleaner and come from the back so it splits the rail like this. Now I like to start on the two ends, so you're going to take the pipe cleaner and what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the ends here to make sure they're kind of even. Now, I'm right-handed, and that's why I have the camera pointed this way, so you can kind of be over my shoulder to see what I'm doing. I'm taking this, folding it over, but I'm also switching. So I started like this, and I'm going like this. This is how I make my pipe cleaner super tight. Now, I'm pulling, so this hand is pulling this direction, and this hand is pulling this direction. See, they're already twisted, so let's start over. Here, they're open. I'm twisting it. Oops, so open and I'm twisting it. Now I'm letting go and I'm switching again. So now I can pull, I'm pulling them away from each other and I'm twisting it so it's super tight. You can just do about two times and that's fine. I'm gonna keep doing that. Take the next pipe cleaner, fold it in half, make that V come up from the back. I'm gonna split the rail and I'm going to the very end here. The same thing, I'm twisting it so make sure it's kind of even here, yep. I'm twisting it and then I'm switching and pulling and twisting at the same time. And then you can take your hand and twist down here. 
that gets a really tight hold. These are not moving. If your pipe cleaners are too loose, they will slide and it will uh, cause some frustration with your mesh. So just make sure that you get that, um, that really tight twist on there. So here's the next one. This one I like to go in the middle. Now, if you've ever watched me on my videos, I'm not a big uh, person who measures. So I'm eyeballing it. If you want to measure, just line this up. If you have a mat, a mat is not needed. You can get a ruler tape measure. Otherwise, just eyeball it. Here's the ends. And now I'm eyeballing the middle. This looks like it's the same distance. So I'm doing the same thing. Twist it tight. And now I'm going to do the middle here. The same thing. I'm just eyeballing it. I really wanted to keep this super simple. So if you don't have any tools or any gadgets or anything, you know, that you see on my table, you don't need it. For this kit, you only need scissors. Make sure you have a good pair of scissors because when you cut the ribbon, you want it to have a nice clean cut. I can tell you, I started out with a pair of Betty Crocker scissors that I picked up at the dollar store before I got uh, these sharp ones here. Okay, so here we go. Look, we have one tie, two, three, four, five, and this is where we're gonna get started with our mesh. So move this out of the way. Now you should have these all rolled together. What you can do is just take the first one and I'm just pulling it. See, I have one here and I'm pulling the uh, one roll away from the other four. Now this is where it gets fun. I'm gonna use the table since you can't really see me and um, I don't have a clip. Let me see. Well, we're just gonna have to improvise. So. What you can do, this is super easy, lay it on your table, okay? And you're going to roll the end here, roll the end here, and then you're gonna walk your fingers down the middle. Now this has a stripe, so you can kind of walk your fingers down the stripe. You might not get this mesh in your kit, so just use your best judgment, and you're gonna bring it together, and it's gonna look like this. See where my hand is holding this? So I have my two ruffles or my two rolls at the end and I'm ruffling it right down the middle. You're gonna take this and go right in your tie. I like to put my mesh like an hourglass. So let me get this in here. I'm gonna tie it off a couple times. And what I mean by that is you have the top and then you have the bottom. So it's kind of like that hourglass shape. And then here, what I like to do, right here where the tie is, I'm going to pinch the two sides together to really open this up, okay? Like that. So let's, I'm gonna go slow for the whole thing. If you have to pause and rewind, then do that. That's why we wanted to do the tutorial so you had an opportunity to see exactly what I'm doing. Lay it on your table, okay? Roll it, roll it. And you see I'm holding it down, holding that roll together roll it, roll it, and then I'm holding this and I'm gonna walk my fingers with this one. You're just pinching it together, okay? And everything is coming into this tie. Now, when I put these in, uh, in the ties on the wreath route, skip the middle one here and go to the middle and then we're gonna skip this other one and go to the end and I'm gonna show you why. So you see how I come to this tie right here and I'm pinching this open. I'm getting the top layer and the bottom layer and pinching it right there. So it creates this open like flower petal, okay? Take another piece of mesh. Oh, this one unrolled itself. Okay, so I'm gonna move that a little bit. Unroll it, roll it, roll it, hold it down. If you need something to hold it down, get your weight. I have the scissors there. You can come back here with both your hands and roll it, roll it, and then you can walk it with both your hands like this. And then when you get to the end, you're gonna have to move those scissors. But see, it comes undone. So you're gonna have to get creative how you're gonna hold that down. Now get your ruffle here. This is the woodland ruffle. My friend Tiffany does this. OK, 
okay come to your tie right here see how it's see how I put this one in here and this one does not look like these other ones you're going to grab that top piece and that bottom piece and pinch it right here where the tie is and open up that ruffle now look at how full that is just with the three I like to do the ends in the middle because this one here these two they're going to ruffle and lay on top here so let's get the twist ties ready okay we still don't want this separated but we're going to be uh, using the tie and this the next ruffle that we lay here is going to lay right on top okay so we're gonna do the same thing undo the mesh lay it out now I um, did not get a clothespin out I normally clip the end with the clothespin but you don't need to do that you can simply do it like this or hold it down with the weight uh, but I really wanted to make sure that you to show you simple basic you don't need all the things okay you can just do it with your hands okay so this one's on here now what I'm doing is I'm making sure the top is laying on the bottom see here's the bottom layers now this top one I still want it to be open but laying on the other ones so same thing open up the ruffle I'm coming here to the tie and I'm pinching it open and now look at that look at how full that is amazing I love it I love this technique I do it very often on my Facebook live so if you haven't watched me or if you're brand new and have only seen a few videos this is one that I love to do and teach. So roll the both ends and then walk your fingers all the way to the end. And the same thing, I'm my pinch, see this is the hourglass. My pinch is here, it's got the top and the bottom, goes up and down. And as you learn, you're gonna pick up other techniques. You're gonna wanna try other ways to do it, which is perfectly fine. Guys, there's no rules do what you feel if it comes out the way you want it then perfect right if it doesn't then try something else so i'm just making sure that the top is laying on the bottom and pinching that middle right there now look at how awesome that is and it's not really covering the welcome you're still going to be able to see this hanging on your door so there's the mesh part we're going to slide this to the side now let's get our ribbon. So we put our mesh, then our ribbon, then our tubing. So if you've never dovetailed, it's called dovetail. If you've never dovetailed ribbon, after you get cutting to length, these are 12 inch lengths. By the way, this mesh is at 30 inches. These are 12 inch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up all the ends. See how these are all lined up in a nice stack? And you're gonna pinch it right down the middle. So you have this nice fold, they're all lined up. What I like to do is I cut on the fold here. See, this is the opening part. This is the fold, cut on the fold at an angle towards the opening like this. And the ends just flew over there. So this is what you're creating, this nice dovetail right here. See that? So let's try it again. These are kind of wonky over here. We wanna get them nice and lined up fold it over make sure the ends are still kind of uh, in line cut on the fold down towards the corner and see how it creates that edge and when you open it up you have that V now you'll see as you get used to doing this stuff you'll see um, how tight you like your corners to be some people like them super sharp. If you don't like them that wide open, you could come up a little bit and do more of like a fatter one here. Let's try it on this one. And that one's still pretty sharp, but that's okay. So line up your ends. Now, if cutting through four is too much, uh, try like two at a time. If you don't have sharp scissors, I would do one at a time. Now see how this one is more of a wider and the other one was a sharp, 
but see the difference here in the the triangles so it's all a preference it really doesn't matter but that's how you dovetail i'm throwing the end pieces in my trash can here on the side so now that we have these dovetailed you're going to bring your rail back over and i'm going to put the black and i think i'm going to put the red down with the black and white on top so layer two pieces we're putting two pieces of ribbon in each tie these are ribbon tails two in each tie so we need a red and a black and a white sometimes i've used three different ribbons but we're only using two and see how i'm lining up the ends here you're going to fold it in half i like to crease mine so i create this pinch right here because this crease right here when you open it you can kind of see a line you'll see better when you when you do it this is where I'm going to pinch it. So I'm making these little pinches between my finger and my thumb, and it's gonna look like this. This part is what you're going to put inside your tie here. I don't untie my tie, some people do, but I don't. So put your, tie, your ribbon tails in there. I twist it off two times, tight, you don't want it coming out. Come back to the base here. I bring my ribbon up, and I'm pinching. So see how the ribbon is standing up now? Taking this, spreading it, and kind of making it come up and out. The same thing over here, spread this up and out. And this is how you get your ribbon tails on your uh, tie. So the same thing I'm gonna do, this time I'm gonna put the red on top, line up the ends, Fold it over, find that crease, and pinch it between your fingers so it looks like this. This part, don't let it go. You're gonna put that right down in your tie. Now here's another thing that I do. When I put my bow on here, it's going to be covering up one of the ties. So you only have ribbon tails for four ties because one of the ties is where your bow is gonna go. I normally like to put mine either the second one in or the third, like the fourth, the second or the fourth, or the middle. So one of these, so you need to decide where you're gonna put your bow, skip that one. So I'm putting tails here, I'm skipping this one, no tails, tails, tails. Because this one's gonna get covered up, okay? So put your ribbon in here, pinch it, and then bring this out. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because I want my ribbon facing away from that spot there. So you see how this ribbon is going this way and this ribbon's going this way? That's because this bow is gonna go right here and I want the bow to lay pretty here and you just still be able to see the ribbon tails. Okay, so now we're gonna do uh, the red on top on this one here, just to kind of mirror what we did here. Line them up, fold it over. Oops, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it. Put this in your tie. Twist it off a couple times. Bring it up, pinch it at the base, and then bring those apart. Now, if you aren't able to do this pinching in the air, line it up, fold it over on your table or wherever you're working, find that crease, open it up and then do it on the table. So you're just bringing it together like that on your table, okay? Do whatever makes it comfortable for you. Put it in the tie, twist it a couple times, raise it up, pinch it at the base, open these up, and there we go. How's that? Okay, so the even the tubing has been cut for you. We're gonna put one piece of tubing in each, these are at 22 inches, that's what I like to do. So you're gonna take your tubing and you're gonna fold it over like this. I call it a lasso, because it looks kind of like a lasso to me. But you're gonna have it in one hand, you're gonna have both ends like this. And directly across from where you have this tie, you're gonna grab the tubing and bring it together to make it look like it's almost like a bow tie. This is gonna go right into your tie. Again, I don't untie it, I just lay it on top push it down, twist it off, okay? 
The same thing, I'm grabbing my tubing and I'm bringing it up and pinching it at the base so it kind of stands up and gives it a little bit more dimension. So this pipe cleaner is just hanging out in the air. What I like to do is I'll take my finger and I'm wrapping the pipe cleaner around it and I'm making a little curly cue just so it doesn't look funky right there. And then you see I keep messing with the ribbon, fixing it. So this tubing, sometimes you get tubing and it's kinked up. Um, do you guys remember those like the Chinese finger pulls that we used to get in little uh, like little toy sets or whatever? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this and I'm gonna push on it like this and open that crease. See how it kind of uncreased? So this is one that I really wanted to show you. If you get tubing and it's creased, you're gonna push it open on itself. See how it kind of expands? And I'm just doing like this little push on there just to get rid of, see that had a big crease in it, now it's not, just to get rid of that pinch. So take your tubing, fold it over, have it in one hand, grab it from the other side, bring it together. This is going in your tie. I have done more than one tubing in a tie but uh, for this kit, we just kept it super simple. Just do one. Again, I cut at 22 inches. Oh, we gotta pinch it. Go down to the base, pinch it up. I'm pinching the tubing so it kind of stands up. And we know that the, the bow's gonna go right here. Kind of make your tubing go to the side to where you still see it. Okay, so there's that part. Let's grab the next one. We're just gonna keep going. Tubing in your hand, bring it together and make sure you're curly cueing those ties. You don't want them just hanging out looking unfinished. I use my finger, twist it over my finger. If you need a pencil or something, you can do that, but you don't really need that. You can use your finger, oh, pinch it. I always forget this step. Pinch the base, make it stand up. It just makes it come out of that tie a little bit more. Here's the next one, pinch it, or bring it together, put it in here. I twist it off a few times and then tie it around my finger there. Pinch the base. We don't like floppy ribbon or floppy tubing, so make sure it's standing out, okay? The ribbon is wired. Let's open this one up, okay. And this is what our wreath rail is looking like. Isn't that cool? Now let's make a bow. Okay, so you're gonna have two extra pipe cleaners. I take mine, just so you can see, I take mine and I'm making a little X right here. Let me go on this side so you can see. Making a little X and I'm twisting them on to themselves to make a super long pipe cleaner like this. See that? Okay, put that to the side. Now let's make our bow. So we have one two and a half inch and two two and a half inch. No, we have one two and a half inch and two one and a half inch. Hope I said that right. So this one is going to be, if you have a mat, you can use it. If not, it's gonna be fine. So we're going to make about an eight inch tail. So eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I really want you guys to get used to not working with tools. And then let's say you don't really like this. You haven't added a lot of investment to it other than the kit you haven't bought all the tools now if you fall in love with it i do recommend getting a mat this is a 36 inch you can get it at any craft store it's usually in the sewing section it's a self-healing mat to where if you run the rotary cutter over it it's not creating a bunch of uh like lines and it's not going to cut it but we're going to do eight inches so i'm going to eyeball it this is about eight inches okay pinch it see how i just walked my fingers together and pinch it together like this. And then we're gonna make a about six inches. So this is gonna be a 12 inch loop. It's gonna create six inches on this side and six inches on this side. And I'm going to pinch this as well. So let's just set it down here and pinch it. And you're gonna pinch it together and you're gonna twist it. And I'm gonna eyeball it and come about here, maybe, pinch it, 
and put it together. So we really want to make sure that the pretty side is showing. And that means that you can see the design and it's not the back like this. So let's do that again. Okay, you can pause it and rewind it if you want. Find where you're gonna make your tail. So you're gonna pinch it like this. And I'm gonna find my loop. So I'm gonna pinch this together, bring it together like this. It's in one hand, twist it, pinch it again, and bring it back into the same hand and twist that tail so both the tails are facing out. What I like to do is right here in the pinch, you're gonna have the loop and the tail and the loop and the tail. Just put this in your hand and hold it. If you have a pipe or a clothespin, you can pin it together or a, like a chip clip or something, but this is gonna be the base of our bow right here, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna put the red down, then we're gonna do the black. Now the black should have a, the same length tail so we can even go off that, but you're gonna lay the black down, pinch for your tail, put it in your hand. So you're doing a lot of pinching and twisting, okay? Pinch that in your hand, a little bit more. This is kind of awkward, but that's okay. Get used to pinching and twisting. See how it's in my hand? I'm gonna pinch it right here. So we want our loops up and our tails down. If you have a bow maker, use your bow maker. But here's what it's looking like, and I'm still just holding it in my hand. I know it's upside down, but it is coming out, I promise. Take your next bundle, lay it on the table, find your tail, gonna pinch it, lay it right here on top. Now this red ribbon is the same on both sides, so it really doesn't matter, but you're, okay, this one didn't come out. Let's try it again. And I'm letting go of my guide right here. Cooperate. Lay it down, pinch, Put it in your hand, find your next loop, pinch, put it back in your hand. So each time you're coming this way and going back, this way and going back, make your loop, fix this, make your loop, put it in your hand and pinch it. So I'm just bringing this all together, fixing it so it doesn't look super wonky, fixing those tails. And that's how you make a hand bow. And there's our bow. Now this is where you're gonna take your pipe cleaner. I'm, look at my hand. I'm bringing it and holding it down with my finger. I'm not letting go of the ribbon. Just bringing this around and holding it with my finger, looping the pipe cleaner around. I still haven't let it go. It's still in between my in my hand between my thumb and my finger and now with with the pipe cleaner around all of it I'm letting go and holding it like this so I really want to get a tight fit here so I'm gonna fix this before I twist it off and this is what we made here a really simple three ribbon bow okay I want to fix this little loop guy right here that's acting funny fix this one right here now that I like where it's at, I'm grabbing my ribbon. You see this hand, I'm pushing down on the ribbon and I'm pulling with this hand. I'm twisting the ribbon or the pipe cleaner and twisting the bow around. Don't twist it so hard that you break it. And there's how you make a three ribbon bow. Now, here's the fun part. We're not going to use this tie, so I'm gonna twist it off a few times. And then this excess, I'm just going to fold it and lay it down because we're not going to use it. So it's just going to be right there. Now you're going to take your bow and we'll be able to fluff this once we get it onto the, uh, the wreath rail here, okay? And you're going to take your pipe cleaners. Usually there's one longer than the other. I would take the long one and you're going to poke it through the mesh 
to the back. Take your hand, you're gonna come to the back just like this. I'm gonna set it right here because it's gonna go where the middle one is. I'm gonna set it right here, but I'm gonna take this and poke through the mesh and feel for it with my other hand. So you, this might take some practice. You wanna get it to come through that rail. So it poked through, I felt it with my other hand, and now I'm just pulling it like this. Be gentle, you don't wanna uh, smash it. Now let's get this ribbon lined up here. It's getting a little stuck. There we go. Okay, so go back, put your hand back underneath there. I want this one tie. Now I have to do the same thing with the other tie. Take the bottom piece, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take this tie in my hand and I'm gonna push it through the mesh and feel with my other hand and make sure it comes through the wreath rail. Now let me show you how this hand is. I do have my fingers poked in the mesh, so when this comes poking through, I can feel it, and then I'm gonna pull it through, okay? If you have a wreath easel or a stand or something to help you, I would suggest using that if you want. You don't need it. Just take your time, okay? This is beginner for a reason. Trust the process. And then here, we're going to just line this up. Yes, I like where this is at looking cute now here's the fun part I'm gonna flip this over so I can show you I'm going to pull on these now what you want to do is I'm gonna do this so you can see it hold this up straight against your body and look down you want to make sure this bow is pointed up a little bit and out so when someone walks up on your door this is not falling to the ground so you're gonna stand this up you're gonna look over the top down on top of your bow and this one I can see is pointed out if I wanted it up a little bit more I'm just gonna reposition it and pull on the twist tie in the back and move it around so let's see how that is and you see what I mean so hold this up on your body look straight down so assume that my body's right here and you're gonna look straight down and make sure that your bow is pointed out or even up a little bit going out that way or up you don't want it pointed down Okay, once you get comfortable with that, you see I have the two twist ties here. You can twist it off with your hand right here. If you have a wreath easel, you know, you use both hands. So I'm just gonna twist this a few times. And now we have this excess. You can actually cut it using the scissors, oops, to where there's only two inches here. You're gonna take this and you're gonna go right into the mesh and you're just gonna poke this in there so it's not sticking out just like that you see this all it is is fuzzy here no sharp ends to the end of the pipe cleaner if you didn't want to cut this you can kind of roll it up and shove it in there but now that's sticking in there and you won't see it okay so there's that part let's bring this back around so we can see and now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to fluff this bow so the biggest uh, advice I can give with your bows is make sure you're putting your fingers inside the loop and you're spreading it open. We don't like flat loops, okay? Now you can spread this apart and make it like an X with the red and the black or whatever two colors you have. So it's like that. If you don't like that, you can leave them right on top of each other like that. Okay, cute little bow everything complements itself so now we have to dovetail the end so what you're gonna do is what I like to do is I like to make it to where the top color is a little bit shorter than the other ones once you get to making bows you may want longer streamers but I really like this short look okay so you're gonna take it remember how we did the other tails you're gonna fold it in half you're gonna cut on the folded side down towards the edge. So this black and white is cut in half. This is the folded side. I'm gonna cut on the fold down towards the edge, like that. The same thing over here, fold it in half, cut on the folded side down towards the edge. And then on this tail, you see how I'm in here and I'm doing this with the ribbon it kind of makes it stand out so you're gonna run that between your fingers it creates this really pretty um, 
like almost like a little waterfall or a rainbow even with the two and a half inch here fold, oops fold it and then cut on the folded side down towards the edge and there is our bow everybody you can see all the ribbon you can see everybody oops that's stuck in my hand and then since we touched it and we kind of smashed it up a little bit i go back and you can fluff these fix them fix the tails if you didn't like you know the way the tail was going to go you can fix it here now you have your jute string now with the welcomes and the hello especially the words i like to use the the pieces that we have here so i'm going to flip this upside down so you can see what i'm doing i'm taking the end of the jute string okay and you can you can use this or you can come over here i'm going to use this part right here i think how did I do this before? No, this end right here. And I'm just going to tie a little basic knot. I do leave like a little bit on it and I'm doing my knot at the top here. So just a little basic knot like this. So you only have this little piece of string here and it, the knots at the top, it looks very rustic. It's very cute. Now, depending on how you like your wreath rail to hang so this would be the middle right here right kind of like this is where the hanger is going to be you don't have to use all the strings so kind of decide how you want it i don't really like a big long string on my pieces so i think this is pretty good right here i find that the longer the string the lower the piece hangs on your door and it's almost covering or touching your door handle or your doorknob and i don't like that when someone walks up and you have to open the door, I don't want them touching my stuff, right? I just want them to see, ooh, that's pretty, and then they're able to use the doorknob. So I create a smaller um, string here. So this looks good. I'm gonna use the E, and I'm gonna pull this through and check out how long I want this. So I'm pulling it before I tie it. I think that's pretty good right there. So I'm gonna do my knot and my knot is going to be at the top of the E. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut this about the same length as that. So it's like, what, an inch and a half? And then there is my piece. You get that off of there. And this is how you put together your beginner wreath rail kit. I'm gonna take pictures and um, post this so you can see it with the video and I hope you enjoyed this. I cannot wait to see your creations. If you have any questions, please ask. You can send an email. You can post in our free community group that we have. You should have received a flyer and a postcard with your order um, that gives you direction on where to find those places. And it's just a free community that you can post your um, stuff and show it off. So there is the welcome and uh, and or hello wreath rail beginner edition kit so I hope you like that and I will um, wait to see your creations bye